Good day everyone, this is Ryan Lawaji from the Butcher Shop Effects Studio. Today I'm going to teach you how to make bladders. These are just essentially homemade balloons that sit underneath of prosthetic appliances to create movement from underneath the skin or bleeding from open wounds. As you can see I'm just sketching out some different designs here with the pencil. Here's a closer look at what I'm doing. I'm going to be putting the layers of latex and then the garbage bag or water clay slurry and then the vinyl tubing. I'm going to put on my safety gloves. And wear that respirator. The ammonia fumes from the latex I'm using is very strong. I have Monster Maker's RD407 mask latex. Uh, any latex will do. Just what I had at hand. I'm going to brush this on in eight layers. I'm going to keep it in very thin, consistent layers, but eight layers in total. So here's the first. And I'm going to conserve my chip brush by keeping it in the container of latex. As you can see, I cut a hole in the lid so it, it'll fit nicely. And I just take some saran wrap and cover that hole so air won't dry out my latex. And then I'm going to mark down the layers as I go. Then I'll use a hair dryer. The heat and air will just speed up the drying process. And I'm going to repeat this process until I have eight layers total. Okay, now that we got our eight layers on, I'm going to take some vinyl tubing. I'm going to take some super glue, a pair of scissors, garbage bag. I'm going to take some water in a cup, some water based clay, a tongue depressor, and a chip brush. So I'm going to start mixing up my clay slurry, which is just taking some water based clay and dissolving it in water until I have about a yogurt consistency. I'm going to use this as a divider, same with the plastic bag, to create a pocket in between the layers of latex. I'm going to cut up the plastic bag now to the shapes I've drawn out on my board. You can see, you can still see it through the design of the latex. I just want to make sure I have a at least a half an inch to one inch border of latex around my plastic and around my clay slurry that I'm currently brushing on. We're going to make sure this clay slurry is completely dry before we start our next layers of latex as well. So we're going to build a good, good thick consistency with that and let it fully dry. Now I'm going to take some vinyl tubing and I'm going to clamp it in place. I know it fits my connectors, my, my syringes or my bug sprayer, whatever I'm going to use. I know it fits that. So here I'm going to clamp it in place and then I'm going to fully secure it with some crazy glue. I also want to make sure my plastic bag is going to cover over the top of my vinyl tubing and I also want to make sure I'm not going to cover the opening of the tubing with any kind of adhesive so, so you can see here I'm wrap, wrapping the plastic bag around the end of the tubing and securing it in place with the super glue making sure that that hole is still open at the end of that tube so I'm going to do the same thing with the other one Uh, with the clay slurry one, it's kind of the same idea as well. I'm going to I'm gonna clamp and glue the tubing in place, letting it go past the clay a little bit. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use a connector piece of plastic to connect the vinyl tubing to the clay. 
For this specific bladder, I'm going to connect another tube coming to the other end, so that way we can connect both different tubings to different uh, blood pumping apparatuses um, to create like major crazy artillery spray. So with the clay slurry bladders, I have to make a little connector piece with a piece of plastic. So here we go again, I'm going to glue a little piece of plastic onto the vinyl tubing and then then press the plastic flush to the clay slurry and the latex wall. Just gluing it to the tubing only. And then we're going to repeat the process again of another eight layers of eight thin layers of latex. Letting each layer dry before I add the next. Eight layers later. After my eight layers dry, I'm going to powder the surface. Lift up a little edge and powder the underside as I peel the latex away. Just give everything a good powder down. So now I'm going to test the bladder. So I'm going to slowly feed some air through each one of these down the line so you gotta you just gotta take your time with this part it may wind you a little bit too but just don't blow too hard because you don't want to burst this you don't want to burst the seams or you don't want to burst the bladder so there we go got some air going down and if it's not lifting you can you can pinch the latex gently and peel it as you blow as you'll see me do uh, here in a little bit here there we go. Let's start pinching the latex. Just, just take your time with this part of the process. Uh, you blow, you blow air, too much air into it too fast, you can pop it or break the seal. So you can see this was giving me a little trouble. So I just kind of pinch, pinch and blow, pinch and blow very gently. I don't want to, I don't want to tear into the bladder with my fingernails either so just take your time and there we go with the water-based clay slurries once I have these off the board and I can get air through it I will uh, I will feed water through it just to clean out that clay get it all flushed out before I bring that and, and try to pump some kind of blood through it so just use this baby powder to gently lift it off and there's a bladder, and then you're going to see me, I'm going to trim these up. I'm going to make sure, though, I, I don't cut too close to, that, to the part that inflates. Keep a little bit of a distance. Keep these things strong, you don't want to burst them. So here I'm trimming it. You're also going to see me put two slits uh, where the vinyl tubing is. There you go, one, two. And the reason I'm going to do that is because uh, there's usually, right, right here, there's usually um, air will escape from that little area that I'm, I'm gluing shut right now. So we want to just seal everything up nice and tight. Uh, we can use 5 minute epoxy. You can, in this case, I'm just using some crazy glue. And look, I'm going to wrap the latex around and, and make an even tighter seal. And then just glue it all up. If, if you're having trouble, if, you, if you're blowing air into it and you, you can hear the air come out, it's leaking somewhere. Uh, a way of to figure out where your leak is, uh, we can just submerge this under some water and just blow through it. And wherever the air bubbles are rising up from it, that's a, that's a good indication where it's leaking. And then you just repair it with some more latex. And then this area, I'm just using super glue. Or you can use 5 minute epoxy. You can even use more latex. But just seal off anywhere that it may be leaking before you, before you bring this to production. So here, if I was making the bladder so it could bleed, I would cut little holes in it. Uh, and wherever you want the blood to come out the most, that's where you're going to cut the biggest hole. And then you're going to graduate it smaller from where the tubing connects. 
So here if I wanted the hole to come out the very end there, the bulbous part, I'd cut it, the hole bigger there and then make my hole smaller as I go down closer to the tubing. If you have your hole too big near the tubing, everything's just going to flow out right at that point. So you want to make sure the holes graduate in size, smaller to larger. Larger to where you want the blood to come out the most. Now I'm going to show you two quick clips utilizing bladders on, on some short films we've done in the past. Uh, the first one is Air by Fatal Pictures, directed by Richard Powell. You can find the full film in the Box Cutter Trilogy set. I'll provide a link below. And we can see here, it's just, uh, yeah, the air bladder's underneath of a, a foam latex appliance that's on the actor. And the next little clip is from a short film called Hangman by Tyler Byron. You can find this one on YouTube. Uh, it's very violent, uh, as you can see here. But it's the same idea. It's just a foam latex appliance with a bladder built underneath with tubing connectors and, and uh, bug sprayers to pump blood through. Uh, thanks for watching, and please subscribe. The Bookie Shop Effects Studio.